I don't know what to do. That's annoying! It looks terrible. We're hiding these. Ow! What is going on here? This is a joke. Where's the dish? This should be really obvious. Oh dear, oh dear. Hello, this is Fridge Cam. He's Mike and I'm Ben. Today's Pass It On consists of us being challenged to create an ultimate British classic. And given we're Brit, surely we can't get this one wrong. Let's find out. What have we got here? This, this, Pens and papers. Janice. Today's order will be determined on who can recall the most song titles by my favourite musical artist. And yes, I saw that eye roll, Ben. Ooh. Your favourite. That's why she hasn't bothered underlining my name, because not much for <laughs> me writing anything down, is there? Who is your, who? Yeah. Elton John. Oh. 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 Game on. <laughs> <laughs> you have 30 seconds. Go. Oh. No. My no, no, Jay, where's the pen gone? My pen doesn't work. I've gone blank. I've, I've, I've literally gone blank. Bohemian Rhapsody. No, shut out. up! <laughs> Stop. Pens down, please. Right, let me just tally up the scores. So, Ben got three. Not bad, I guess. Mike got five. That's pretty good. Barry, two. Not surprised. Probably thought it was a maths challenge. James got two. Not very good there. And Jamie got... How does he expect me to read this? Whatever, I'm giving him a three. You haven't even got a theme yet. Oh, what are we doing? You will all try to cook a specific dish. That dish will only be revealed to the person going first, which is James. You're gonna have a great time, we'll I guess. One by one, the guys will have 10 minutes to contribute to the same dish, which will be judged a pass or fail at the end of the challenge. It is fish and chips. I feel like this is pretty obvious. I don't need to leave too many clues. What I do need to do is give it direction because there's so many different ways we could go. So I'm gonna go with breadcrumbs and I've chosen salmon, which is a really weird fish to do fish and chips with, but I think it really works with curry flavors. So I'm gonna try and start a ketchup-y type thing. Got a pan on. Ooh, I should put this on as well. I've seen something really interesting, which is a pineapple, which I know Barry is allergic to, but I think it would be make a delicious ketchup. James fries diced shallots in butter whilst being a terrible friend. I really want to do everything because I want to make sure the dish turns out like I feel like it should turn out. This has turned stressful and I didn't think it would be. I'll finish the pineapple and then maybe I'll do some chips instead of fish and then it's really obvious that it's fish and chips. How did this get stressful? This wasn't supposed to be stressful. I think what I'm stressing about is the fact that I I think Barry might just ignore everything I do and start again. So I'm thinking like put a little bit of ketchup in there so you're kind of getting a bit of depth of flavour. You've got the sweetness of the pineapple and then you've got a sp spicy curry powder, a little bit of chicken stock maybe just to again add flavour to it. That's obviously a panne station. Skin on potatoes I think will be good and probably pretty chunky. So somebody has to fry these at one, I've left it at 150-ish, it should be about 130. And then they have to turn the fryer up to 180 and then they have to fry them again. So you're cooking them, getting a little skin on them, crisping them up a lot on the second fry. So I haven't done the fish, I think I'm gonna leave that. Also it gives him a choice. If he doesn't like salmon, then he can go with something else. But I wanna make sure that he knows it's fish and chips. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, two, one, score. I'm gonna give myself a seven, like I think, I think it's pretty well set up. <sighs> Barry! Okay, let's do this. Right, what have we got? What looks like fish and chips, but with salmon, pineapple, something. I can't taste this because I'm I am allergic to pineapple. So I'm guessing that some sort of curry sauce. What? I've never seen anything like this before. I've had a lot of fish and chips with curry sauce, but never salmon, never pineapple. Well, I can't I can't taste that, so I can't I don't know what to do with that if I can't taste it. Ah! Oh calm down, Barry. Oh no! I thought I was a drama queen. What's the What's the dish? Fish and chips, Barry. What was written on that piece of paper? Fish and chips, Barry. Fish and chips, Barry. <laughs> so here we have fries. Here we have <laughs> a fryer. So they're going to go into there. I don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to cry. 
They have to go in there at some point to start cooking. Let's just pan a... Barry purposely doesn't season his pan ingredients, so we'll all point it out and learn from it. What a guy. Why? Why would you do salmon as for fish and chips? The idea of salmon in fish and chips, to me, just doesn't work. It's too oily of a fish. It sounds silly, but it's got too much flavour. It's classic, and you can't go wrong with a white fish, but salmon just feels like it might be a step too far. James has gone first. He's picked salmon. This is his fault if it, if it goes wrong. I'm genuinely disappointed and a, a little bit angry with James. Oh, it's such a shame, because I really, really like fish and chips. And I'm not going to enjoy this. He can't even eat the ketchup either. Ha. Huh. Uh, I'm double dipping the panko to go extra crispy. Barry's positive aura continues to illuminate the kitchen. Yes, Janice, I'm having a bad day. Right? Not, no time for your sass now. Two minutes to do something. Something that I'd, I, I'm actually going to eat. Like a tartar sauce. Oi, fun sponge. Huh? Our happy bunny starts prepping a tartar sauce. Gherkins. Some chives. And then... Oh no! Oh. As a score, I'm going to have to give myself two. I've contributed to a dish that I know is not going to work, so what's the point? I think someone needs a nap. Airbus! Chips, breaded fish. Huh? We're making fish and chips. With a twist, which I quite like. Tartar sauce, really nice accompaniment to fish because it cuts through. You need the vinegar. Ben chops capers and stirs them through mayo and Worcester sauce, along with chives, pickles, and a squeeze of lemon. We need something fresh. Peas or a salad to go on the side. It's a nice option. I like the fact that somebody has chosen to take this in a bit of a curveball. It's not the obvious white fish. Although, using an oily fish in a fried dish makes the whole thing quite greasy. So you need a tang to cut through it. Why has he got so many pens in his pocket? And that, it's not going to work with that. Halfway through my time, because I think it will need something fresh and green on the plate, and peas are the obvious choice, is more classic. Does it work with the curried pineapple? I'm confused by that. I like it because it's different. I just not sure if it works with anything else. It could go one of two ways, and I almost don't want it. To all of our detriment, Ben decides to leave the choice to Jamie. What I do know is those that have gone before me have been very calm. In case they want to toss the peas in some butter, chop up some mint. 30 seconds left to go. Drain those. Put the temperature up to 180. I've not added much, I've not messed much. I've not made the decision, is it going tartar sauce or pineapple curry sauce? Very middle of the road at five and a half. Next! Here we go. Oh! Well, I'm not a genius, but I do have to say, this looks like we're making fish and chips. Uh, right, deep fat fry. These have had some cooking, maybe one cook. This is tartar sauce and this double dip. This is nice. I don't know what that is. No one does. So we've got 20 minutes left. What are we going to do? Those chips definitely need a second fry, so I can do that. Despite clearly knowing they need refrying, Jamie double checks the chip. <laughs> We're going to refry some chips. How do you make mushy peas? You make peas and then you mush them. Let's get those on. We'll get the peas in there and then we'll toss them in butter and these herbs, which is probably mint because Ebers has probably been here. We're going to take those chips out. But yeah, look at them. Look at them babies. They are looking good. All right, get that in there. Get these other chips in. What else could we fry? <gasps> I know what we could do. <sighs> Play the music. I'm going to make some battered wallies. All right flour. Usually I think you do this in a beer batter. It's a, a frickle is another name for it, I suppose. It's a fried pickle. If these end up on the table, I'm going to be really surprised. But I will fight my corner on them because they are traditional and they're great with fish and chips and everybody loves a pickle. Those chips can come out. Let's put our frickles in and see what happens. Here's a question. How long does a fried wally take to fry? I guess it depends on the wally frying them. <laughs> Should I eat that or fry that? I eat that or fry that, eat it. Let's cook off some peas. 
final two minutes. My frickles are fricking. Uh, right, so what's Mike gonna have to do? He's gonna have to plate it. I could get him a plate, and then he's just got to fry the fish. Um, peas will need continuing, but I think we're in a good place. I'm having a look for a plate. Oh, my f frickles. Pop my frickles down there. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna get absolutely blasted for those, aren't I? There's one more, we could do one more. Let's do one more quick. I haven't thought this through because I'm gonna have to leave it in the fryer. Out of 10, I'm gonna have to give myself six and a half. Six and a half, I think I did slightly better than average. But anyway, my battered Wally is gonna have to come out soon. So Mike! Fish, chips, peas, Oh. Oh, that's delicious. What fish is that? That's salmon. <laughs> oh, did this start off as fish and chips? We've been on quite a journey here, Mike. The salmon is going in. Oh no, there's something already in there. What the hell is that? That's, a, that's quite a decent plate. Don't feel like it's gonna fit everything. Like tartar sauce, get it. Curry, fish and chips, get it. No idea what that is. Oh, hang on. How many times do these need cooking? Oh well. <laughs> So surely for me, it's just about plating up. I tell you what, the boys have done a fantastic job there. We'll get that in. I'm thinking big old pile of chips. So loads of lovely salt all over there. I think these peas are probably ready now. Let's get the peas in there because I want a load of butter in with those peas. And what I'd really like is some mint. Just chop some mint through that. Oh, mega lols. What are you laughing at? That's how I laugh. That's mint, and that's already been chopped. So, oh, I see, right, chuck that through there then. Make the fish the star. Dollop of what I assume to be tartar. Oh, no, oh, no. And that's where it started to go wrong. Little tree of sides. I think these deserve their own dish. A wedge of lemon. Let's hope the theme was fish and chips. I'd give myself a six. I feel like I brought it together and chucked it on a board. I haven't really contributed any more than that. Three, two, one. Wow. Hey. Oh. Quite a platter. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, oh. The F and O. <laughs> so, from what I can deduce, we have fish and chips, including a tartar sauce, some deep fried slugs, a pickly pineapple-y curry thing, and some peas. In mint. I like the plating. Yeah. Thanks. Nice. Yeah, well Smart. Done, did you not cool. write the plate I left out for you? I did not. <laughs> <laughs> is it too early to say pass? I did, well, <laughs> is it? <laughs> was it supposed to be fish and chips? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. I wasn't sure if the theme was fish and chips. I thought the theme was take a classic and f it up. Oh. 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 Who I invited mean, him to the table? I thought this was salty, but. <laughs> 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 I was told that I was making fish and chips. I left the fish choice open for Barry to choose, but I did set up a pane station to say it's definitely like <laughs> breadcrumbed. Who goes for salmon in fish and chips? I'm surprised that the Barry chose to, to go with salmon. Like obviously, I left it open, but Barry actually decided on the salmon. Interesting. So, so, so Barry, I, I'm surprised by that. I'm, su I'm as surprised as you guys. I am surprised because you. you know it's not a classic combination. I call this Barry's RJF, resting Janice face. Oh. <laughs> A pen age of fish. Our fish. You chose the fish. You Your yeah, fish. I, 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 didn't, I didn't choose it. I didn't. Choose <laughs> it. I didn't. I'll admit I suggested the fish, but you chose it. Like, we can all agree on that, can't we? <laughs> right, right, enough chat. Let's eat. Oh, Ben. Oh, can you hear that crunch? Mm. That, is, that is delicious. Mm. Mm. And I know that pineapple is delicious. Do you know what? It's almost like a palate cleanser. You taste it and you're like, wow, that's completely different. And then you go back to lovely, fatty, creamy stuff. I love a frickle. Mm. The frickle's good. Mm. Now that we've decided that this salmon really, really works with the panko, good idea, James. Well done for leaving that out. Thanks, guys. And Ebers, Ebers, your tartar sauce that you made was delicious. Did everyone score themselves? Um, I gave myself a seven. And a pass or a fail? I'm gonna say pass. Oh my goodness, we might do it again. Barry? Two. I, I was so hacked off. That will make a dish that I didn't want to make. <laughs> <laughs> you took it out on too. yourself. Yeah. It's a painful but delicious pass. I tickled things along and sat on the fence, um, and I gave myself a five and a half. But it's definitely a team pass. I am. Um... 
you spaffed it and it still works. Yeah. That's <laughs> like a real, this, that's never happened before. <laughs> I gave myself a six. And a half. Mm. And I will call that a strong pass. I think I gave myself a six also. I will call it a strong pass. Well done, everyone. You guys get how these work now, uh, but we still need your ideas for themes for Pass It On, so comment down below, let us know. If you'd like to watch all of our previous Pass, pass It Ons, we created a playlist in chronological order that you can check out to see if we've made any improvement whatsoever. I've got a dad joke of the week that Jamie sent me. It's not great, but do you want it? Oh, please. Do you ever get the feeling that your day just isn't going that well. This morning I was on a commute and I ended up in a fight with a guy dressed as Shakespeare. And then at lunch, I choked on a German sausage. It's going from bard to verst. Oh, I told no. you it was terrible. Oh. We've also built the Sorted Club, where you can get tons of foodie inspo using the PAX Midweek Meal app, discover and share restaurant recommendations using the Eat app, listen and contribute to our Feast Your Ears podcast and send us ideas for new cookbooks you'll receive throughout the year. Check it all out by heading to sorted.club. And now a blooper. We have done this in the spirit of friendship, most of us, and had such a lovely time and it's been such a success. Yeah, yeah. friendship and near enough teamwork. Well, guys, we all deserve... Most of us deserve tens. What did we rate ourselves? Well, I was... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 